This is an example problem on how to solve ordinary differential equations and minimize an objective together simultaneously. So we're going to take this objective function, which is try to find x2 at the final equal to 5, and then our differential equations. And let's just go through the specifics of this problem. We're going to optimize this objective function subject to two differential equations. We're going to use orthogonal collocation to discredit differential equations and the condition of optimality. Uh, we'll solve the following couple differential equations starting at zero until final time one with orthogonal collocation on finite elements with three nodes at these times, zero, 0 0.5, and one. Only one value of u can be selected for the entire time period. So there's our u value that can move up or down. Now here's our first differential equation, second differential equation, and those are ODEs, and then our objective function. So we're going to solve these two simultaneously instead of sequentially. Now we have uh, the collocation equations as well here. We have some initial conditions, x1 and x2 equals 1. And then we're going to choose our collocation points. And there are the collocation equations that we're going to use for each differential equation. And we need to apply those to x1 and x2. Okay, we are um, going to solve for these nine variables and nine equations that you can see there. U, you could set that equal to a value of five, uh, but let's just go ahead and solve it as an equation. We don't want to use Gecko's built-in uh, collocation method. We're going to solve this still with Gecko, but we're just going to solve it in a series of nine equations, nine unknowns. And we're going to rename all of those variables like x11, x12, x21, x22, and then also our differential terms, dx11 and dx12. Now, we'll give the initial guess value to some of these. Okay, we're going to give them a value of 1, and then we'll solve it. Now, we want to have, and this is going to be our collocation matrix, and we're going to set that as 0 0.75 minus 0 0.25, 1 and 0. And then our equations are going to be the collocation equations. We're going to have four of those equations for x1 and then for x2. And those determine our dx11, dx12. And then our next two are going to help us determine dx21 and dx22. So these are going to be our collocation equations. And you can apply these independent of what variables and equations are solved, you just need one of these collocation equations for every differential equation. And then we're going to put in our differential equations solved at each time point. There's dx11, and there's our dx12. Okay, with the u value in there as well. Now our second differential equation has to also be solved at that second time point as well. So there's dx21, dx22. Okay, and then we have our final equation. We have the eight equations. Our final one is for the objective where that is optimal. Now we're going to solve this and then print out some of the values here. And just to verify it, we'll also solve this with Gecko with the automatic collocation equations in Gecko. But let's go ahead and solve this. We'll do this through a Jupyter Notebook. Come to the course website. And we're going to scroll down here on the right, down to practice exam uh, midterm number three. And when you select that, you'll see the, both the midterm exam, but also Google Colab link there to be able to solve this through your web browser. Or you can go to GitHub and download the Jupyter Notebook as well. OK, so we're going to do this first one, the code that we just typed out here. And when you run it for the first time, you want to say, you know, even though it's not authored by Google, you can run it. And it's going to have an error that the Gecko package was not found. So we'll need to install that first. As a very first thing, you can see here, no module named Gecko. So go ahead and come back up here and just insert a code cell and pip install Gecko. Now, if you're in a Jupyter Notebook, you may need to restart your kernel, but within Colab, you don't necessarily need to restart your kernel. OK, 
Okay, after it finishes installing, then you can run it again. And then you'll see the solution to x1 and x2 with that minimized objective showing the value of u as well. So there you can see x1, and there's a solution for x2. You could create a plot for each of these if you wanted to. There's our differential terms for x1 and x2. And just for comparison, let's go ahead and solve this as well with Gecko using iMode 6, where it does the collocation equations for us. So all we have to do is write the differential equations, and it will augment the collocation equations. So you can see you get the same solution as the one up above. Okay, so that's just for checking it, but don't, you know, for this problem, you wanted to be able to solve it with the collocation equations and write everything out yourself. So let me just give an overview of some of the other problems that we're going to be solving here in this midterm exam. All right, so uh, we're going to come back up to problem number one. This is the very first one that we just solved. And the next one is going to be a dynamic optimization problem to minimize fuel. And then the third one is going to be doing parameter regression to eliminate outliers.